Hello, Dr. Hayden, is it? They sent me to see you about some questions I had with my college career. Yeah, they warned me about you. What do you need? Can you just tell me a little bit about your college experience? Okay, my college career. Let's talk about you. How are you liking it here? Have you, have you enjoyed it so far? Oh, come on, man. There must be more. I'm really trying to reach out here. All right. They don't pay me enough for this kind of thing. Okay, well, it all started my freshman year. There were three friends of mine. The Brains, the Partier, and then the Coaster. They were all content in their ways for a while, but they found out along the way that their three ways of living weren't the way to go. All three of them. Sounds like it could be a little long. Can I use the little boys' room real quick? Sure, if you must. Please continue. Well, they all had this big exam, and it was the first big exam of their college career and they all did different things beforehand. Then later on that night, they continued to do what they thought was the right thing. Hey, I'm missing the board. There's a board game to start. Block at the end on it. my shot. You block, you block, can you shot? Yeah. yeah there it goes. You <laughs> kill it. You kill it. What you doing, man? It's the Bulls game. Uh, I've got to, I gotta study, man. <laughs> But you I gotta read. The bulls. You don't mute the bulls. Come Ex on. My exam is more important. Your exam? Exam? More important than the basketball game? Man, what yeah. you study? What exam? <laughs> For our exam. Our exam? Our exam? We gotta, we gotta test tomorrow? Yeah, our energy exam, bro. Oh, really? Tomorrow. Oh, energy. We got that. Energy's been running the whole life. I'm telling you, you got really? that. Yeah. You what, can can, what can you tell me about road hogs? Oh, bro. Road hogs is simple. Look, bro, hogs. Chop it up and put it on sandwiches. It's bacon. That's all it is. It's bacon. I'm telling you, just chop it up and eat it. Really? Like that. Yeah. Because so, I'm pretty sure we're talking about NASCAR here. Fuel emissions. Yeah, fuel emissions. NASCAR. Left turns. Energy. Fuel. It's all Clearly. energy. I'm telling you. You got Clearly. it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'm telling you. I don't, right. need, I don't need to study. Need so where the, the, game. Where, where the party at? No, nah, man. No, study. You got to study. I'm telling you, man. No, you don't need to study. What? I've got to study. i got to get an A on this study. test. No, no. It's just going to waste your time. No, no. no, no. Party. No. Party. no. Party. You could be Party. using it. I've got to study. No, what you need to do is go see this movie, Avengers, come out Friday. Yes, I'm I've got to get an A on this test. No, no. I've got to get an A. Party. My GPA is going to hurt you. Look, A's, you can get A's. A's are simple. No, no. So you don't have to study to get an A. I'm telling you. I'm going to play some video games. I'm going to party. And hit the books. How about them road hogs? I have to study. <laughs> I'm not studying. <laughs> they all went on to take on the exam and Larry absolutely bombed it. Lamar floated by with a C minus and Ian received the highest grade in the class. Okay. Then one year later. One year later? <laughs> Thank goodness you're not a storyteller. Just follow me here. They all were realizing that in their second year, their behavior had some downsides to it. Ian had a big English exam, and he was never really good at writing, but since he closed himself off to other people socially uh, during his first year, he had really had no one to go to. So he had no one to go to for help in writing, so he went to the head English professor. Ian, come on in! I need some help. I am so lost. For the upcoming exam? How did you know? Ian, I run this place. So you can help me? I need help with section 7. Right over here, I, I, I'm not really sure what we're doing. Like this whole section right there and this whole section over here. Ian broke out of his comfort zone after that meeting. He had never asked anybody for help before. He received a B plus on that test, but he worked so hard that he learned a lot more than English while studying for that exam. Okay, on to the... Hello? I 
thought I told you never to call me here while I'm working. Yes, a bologna sandwich is fine. No. Okay. Okay. Love you too, Mom. Uh, so about Lamar. Yeah. Okay, so he had this realization one day when he was playing a Batman video game. You know, the one with the uh, level with the penguin, and there's this freeze ray, and, uh... Yeah, tell me. Sorry, I'm not much of a video gamer. I do need to get my life together, man. Dang, I miss you. Well, anyway. Okay, so Lamar left his room and he met with his advisor. He was tired of floating by and he was tired of not doing well in his classes and he wanted to do better. Hello, Miss Amy. Hello, I'm glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see you too. So what have you come to see me about today? It's about my grades and my classes. See, I, I really want to start doing better in each of them. Well, I've kind of been expecting you to come by and I see that you have three classes that you really need to improve on. And uh, so I think, if, as long as you're willing, if you're willing to do tutoring and really kind of get some of those study skills down, I think you can improve. I think you can move forward. That sounds awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great. That was a big day for Lamar. He went on to graduate magna cum laude, even above Ian. What is that? What, you don't know Latin? No. Second day, remember? Above Ian? Really? Yeah, it, wa it wasn't a bad thing that Ian went out and met new friends and started to embrace the college life. You know, college is not just about being in your room and studying all the time. Uh, it's about living by your priorities. It's about going in and forming new relationships and uh, being exposed to people that are maybe different from you, have come from different backgrounds, and um, and really valuing that. And so. Uh, Ian really embraced that, and uh, it, that was something that, that really enhanced his college career. I see that. That makes sense. So what about Larry? Well, Larry Larry didn't do so well. His friends tried to help him out, but he just kept making one bad decision after the other. It was like this cycle. And so he dropped out of school, and then he got arrested for disorderly conduct in public. And he got out. And after that, he um, tried to look into going back to school. And then at the age of 27, he, he reapplied to go back to school, which is huge, right? Uh, and so he realized that he screwed up and wants to make something of his life now. What are the other guys doing today? Well, Lamar now runs his own IT firm in Nashville. And Ian is a full-time doctor and who on the side uh, tutors uh, college students at the nursing school. Oh shoot, I just realized I have a four o'clock appointment. That's all right, I completely understand. Thanks for meeting me. You're welcome, and I'm here if you need me, so uh, don't be afraid to drop by. Fellas! Hey! How's it going? Good to see you guys! <laughs>